Ready program is designed to provide additional information to patients and their loved ones about ports to help you on your journey ahead. Today, I'm going to go over some basic information about ports, how they're used, and how we place ports. You'll also learn what you can expect when you go in for your infusion and how your infusion nurse will be using your port and accessing it. As a nurse practitioner, I see many advantages and disadvantages of all these different vascular access devices that we've discussed today. However, I feel ports can offer some advantages over the other devices, and so that's why we're going to focus on discussing those today. Once placed, a port can remain for as long as your doctor makes sure that it works and determines you need it. Also, a positive advantage of ports is that they're designed to be placed underneath your skin, making them less visible to other people compared to external vascular access devices. Another great advantage is that it preserves your arm veins. This will be a benefit when you need IV access or blood draws in the future. In some cases, a patient may not be a candidate to receive a port. Your physician will help you determine what vascular access device may be right for you. So what actually is a port? A port is an implantable vascular access device that's placed beneath your skin. A port has a reservoir inside that's sealed with a soft top called a septum. It then connects to a small flexible tube called a catheter. Ports come in a variety of different shapes and sizes to fit different patient needs. Some are single lumen and some are double lumen. Your physician will decide what's the appropriate size port for you. You may also hear the term power injection or power injectable port when ports are being discussed. Power injectable ports allow for special fluid called contrast media to be infused into your blood at a high rate for CT scans. CT scans provide a quick, accurate image of your body to help the medical team better manage your care. Not all ports are used or indicated for power injection of contrast media.